The following is for mature audiences only. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back, guys, to our playthrough of Ghost of Tsushima. So, there are six Mongol-occupied villages around the southern half of the map. These little red icons here. We have taken out three of them, but there are six in total. And I guess each one of them has like a, has like a, a key that when all six are combined, they unlock some special, like, unique armor set. So we're going to take a look at those. Um, there were some that we completed. There was this one, AOA Village. I want to take a look because there was a bird that was flying around. I don't know if it was this one. It might not have been this one. It might have been... Let's see. This one, maybe? One of these has like a... I think this was it. Uh, there was a bird flying around somewhere trying to take me someplace, and I slept on that. And I want to go back and see if that bird is around. I don't think... I don't think I followed that bird. We're going to have to fly. Have to move around the map a little bit. And then we're going to go ahead and knock out the other villages. And see about getting that armor. I can hear the seagulls. Those aren't the exact birds we're looking for. We're looking for a gold bird. Where is it? Now, maybe it wasn't here. There were three that we looked at. So there was that one, that one. They're grayed out, so I don't see it so clearly. This one, maybe? Let's find out. I think this was the right one. Ah, damn it. I don't know. Maybe not. Because I remember it was like somewhere near the coast. There it is. Where are you? Okay. So you have something unique that you want to show me, bird. What is it? That must be it. What are you? Is it a hat? Thank you, bird. Oni's blade straw hat. Oh, that one is dope. I like that a lot. It's so cool. Damn it. Mm. Each one of the headbands is also really cool, and I like it because it exposes his face, but there's something about... Uh, there's something about those hats that just, like... I don't know, they're really freaking cool. That one is really nice. Oni's blade. I don't know. I'm just going to leave it for now. Headband of fear is really cool. And then I want to focus on getting the armor anyway. But now, um, we need to buy some materials. And then we're going to knock this one out. And this one. And this one. We're going to get the armor. And it's going to take us where we need to go. So let's just pop over here. Talk to the trapper. I've been searching for them for so long. Who is where? Nothing to show for it. Why are you so obsessed with your black clothes of pure white? There you are. May I assist you, my lord? I hope I have what you're looking for. Kunai is really what I want the most. I don't understand the wind chime thing. Am I crazy? Goodbye. Because I don't, like, I don't see them arrows and it's not there i don't understand that is there something i didn't unlock i don't get it like i bought it but i don't have i don't i don't understand yeah, i don't understand this oh why does it show only three quick fire out of four? Is it something that I have to unlock somehow? Because I don't know how to use it otherwise. I don't get it. Ah, uh, build really didn't unlock new quick fire weapons. So, but I don't understand though. Why is it? Does it show me? Why does it show me these three when I clearly have? The chimes, but I can't use them? That doesn't make sense. I don't fully understand that. See, why do I have the... Oh, wait a minute. 
So these are ranged things. Okay. Oh, son of a bitch. That's why. I thought they were quick fire because they... Uh, okay, well, that sort of makes sense. Like, I okay. I get it now, but it's still stupid. All right, well, so much for that. Gift altar, armor. Let's go take a look. See if we can knock a couple things out. Grab this. Huh. All that time. So what is the... Oops. What's the trophy for that? Collect 10 gifts. Okay. Give me a lot of stuff. I don't know if there's anything that I really care. To upgrade with the armor, because last time I checked, it was really uninteresting. But let's find out anyway. If your plates need work, let me... Oh, Swordsmith doesn't have anything. That's right. We upgraded everything. That's the armor there, right? My armor will dull the Mongols' weapons. Okay. Nothing stronger. The runner attire is cool, though. And we have plenty, so we can buy all that. Much better protection. That's freaking sweet. <laughs> Holy shit, that's cool. I don't... These are dumb. I don't understand with that weird hat. He looks like some sort of busboy at, like, a fast food restaurant in the 80s or 70s. I don't know, it's just weird. I mean, I don't hate this, but I want to stick to the... Well, let's take a look and see. Outfit. Uh, that is cool, though. Deuces enemy detection major increased to melee damage after leaving. Pompous grass will crouch enemies will be seeing me sort of detect you. Taking damage grants. Oh, that's cool. Massive increase to health reduces all damage. Okay, so there's that. That is a really cool hat. But I think it's also, it's distracting away from his head, which is what I don't want. I don't want to see that. Like, I get it, but also, like, I miss the death headband. The hats are cool. It's just somehow... I like how there's no clipping either. Well, okay, I take it back. There is with a bow and arrow. But not on his face. This is dumb. I do like this one. This one's also cool. I just don't want to... I don't know. It just seems like it's so intense looking. And it's obviously there to, like, strike intimidation in the hearts of... Oh, you know what? In the hearts of enemies. But at the same time... It's just too, I don't know, it's just too big. I think we're good, right? More options. Can I, oh, I can change the color here. This is clearly the best one. Yeah, I'm good with that. Besides, we're on the hunt right now for another armor set anyway. All right, let's get to it. Damn, you know what? God, it. I like... Shoot. I'm on the fence now. Now I want to freaking run the Ronin attire. Hmm. I'm going to rock this for a little bit. It's different. Um. What was the hat that he had? Not that one. That one. Okay. I, it's it's hard not to freaking think this is freaking yeah. awesome. I know what I said about the hat just moments ago, but there's something about this that reminds me of Kenshin Himura. And I feel like he was just so much more badass than anyone wearing any sort of armor, you know? And as a result of that, it's making me, like, feel very strongly towards wearing this outfit. Plus, it's black. One last thing, because I'm very curious. Um... 
there's no colors. I don't have any even colors for it. How's my health overall? It seems lower, but it's not bad. What's my... the wind stance? I don't know. The water stance is cool. The moon stance. Stone stance is really cool too, though. Assassin enemies from above. God, I hate that. I didn't see any of them yet. Oh, it didn't give me the assassination from above? That's weird. I wonder why that is. Ah, oh, there you are. That's what I was looking for. Oh, you bitch. All right. There's a set of armor that we're going to get that I will replace with this, but for now, oh, I'm good with this last. one. Thank you, Lord Sakai. Be careful up there. Of course. I see my <laughs> Anyone can get through this At least she's smart enough to run off. So we didn't rescue hostages. I, that one didn't count as three. I jumped from above. I don't understand how that didn't count. It's bull. We'll find more, though. Still, that's kind of BS. Okay, I hear him, but... Ports is... seen a lot of steel. How is Lynn in here without being caught on fire? Where? Okay. Very dry, okay? Dry season right now. Get off me. Okay, we need to figure out why I haven't gotten credit for jumping down and getting them. We will resolve that. Maybe it's a certain height distance. Okay, there we go. There's two. A uh, dog. <laughs> There's one down there. What? Ah, shit. Somebody got somebody. What's up, 
Тэд энэс бутар чадахгүй. Хараад эцэ самурай болхарлаа. Ой, өнөө гэж харлаа. One single strike. I could break the doors down this whole time. Nice. Right, you assholes. Need one more. Be soon. My life is yours. Go. Be well. Maybe we should have surrendered. Maybe we should have surrendered now, nah, girl. Okay, now I need to find one more. Actually. Oh, I didn't know I could do that. Hey, there's something here. A teapot that I can't collect. More than one teapot for some reason. Oh, okay. I do feel bad killing the dogs. I hate that. Because they look so fluffy. But then they try and kill me, and then I'm no longer feeling that bad. Where are they? Oh, there's... Crap, there's a lot more to this village than I thought. I am bloody and bloody in my... Did my hat take damage? Is that a thing? The hat takes the hat takes damage? That wasn't like that before, was it? I don't know. Maybe it was. I just don't remember it. This would be one hell of an assassination if I can jump down on this one. Yeah, I would die, I think. Damn. Okay, there's quite a few of them there. It's not gonna work. Come to Dashagi. them closer. Shit, that's a lot. Dude. Ridiculous. For a moment, I thought you were Gosaku himself. Saka. Please, take this key. He'd be grateful if you donned his armor. It's four down. Gosaku. Gone. I feel like if they make a sequel to this, maybe not even a sequel, I don't know how this game ends. And I don't know if it's like, if there is a sequel to it, but like obviously there's different stories out there in the universe of this era even. It doesn't even have to be the same universe. But my point is, is I feel like if Sucker Punch really designed this with 
PlayStation Studios backing to make like something like okay. All of them. truly next level, next gen, you know? It would be one of the greatest games ever. Because this game, there are things that stand out to me that I'm like not bothered by, but I'm just like, hmm. There are things they could have done better, but I don't, I'm not complaining. But I think if they improved on a lot of the systems and made the world feel a little bit more alive, it would be up for game of the year without question. No debate. No debate there. Just for you. All the pieces are here. There's just a few things that I think need some Thanks. some refining. I'll make an offering for your good fortune. And in doing so, they could have a, a truly perfect game. Because yeah. I don't I don't expect games to be like on the same level as like Red Dead Redemption 2, which is probably among like some of the greatest games ever made, let alone the most lively open world game like I've ever seen. I don't think a game like this necessarily has to be on that level, but it could strive to be a little closer. And I think, I think, I mean, if we can do an open world game like that for like the cowboy era, the wild, wild west, they could do something here. Headshot, that's what I'm talking about. They could do that with the samurai era. Not that Rockstar would necessarily have any interest in that per se, but if they did, I don't know, man. I just feel like that would be not to take away from Sucker Punch because they do a great job, but I don't know. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Also, too, I don't like how picking up and the interact and all that stuff is like all the same. One down, bitch. Two down, bitch. shot. If I can take them all out with bows and arrows without being spotted, that would be fantastic. I don't think I'm going to be able to pull that off, but I'm going to try. Or at least just see how close I get. These villages are very large. There's got to be an opening up here, right? Can I get in there? Damn. I was going to do an arrow, but... Help me! Calm down. You'll be free soon. What a relief. Thank you, Lord Sakai. Find somewhere safe. Be careful. Lord Sakai. Is there ammo nearby? Yes. Nope, already got it. Okay, there's some down there. Nothing here. How many are we dealing with there? One, two, three. Oh, 
Hold still. I always remember you. Go. And stay safe. Better I just saved your ass. Just need the one place to sink. The fish jump. What is the point of that? What does it do? Did I highlight that? It looked like it was highlighted. I don't know. Okay, fool. This is probably not the best place for you to hang out. There we go. Some ammo. <sighs> so many hiding spots, but... I've leveled up significantly. Or gotten decent as a player. So like a lot of those hiding spots, it's like, psh, <laughs> don't you know who I am? I'm the legend of Tsushima or whatever. <laughs> oh, Jesus, I kill me. I also kill you. Is anybody up there? No. There's a guy way over there. This guy, well, that guy was still dying. So good. Oh, I can't believe my luck. Yeah, me neither. Go. Be well. Still learning things about this game, and now that I know that I can crush through doors like that, because remember we figured out how like the the bamboo cells you can cut through, which makes perfect sense. I just, I don't know. I just didn't know I could do it, but it makes sense that we can. It's the little things. <laughs> I love how he nudges the horse. <sighs> Sleeping on the rocks? Why would you sleep there? That's got to be uncomfortable as hell. You, there's nowhere else, nowhere else you could have laid. And he chose this spot. What's up, dudes? I will pay join the Mongols because their faith is ruining. All they care about is who can give them the most. But what could the Mongols give them? Their lives, for one. Their own clan. Could be anything. They must think the Mongols will be victorious. Look around. Do you disagree? <sighs> Must have been a few decades before the thong was invented. Anyway. All right, let's see. What do we got next? Okay, that one's done. That's where we're going to go next after... Buy some supplies. Buy some supplies. Supplies. Need to buy I work All right, sorry. Woods. Cloth. We got all of our arrows back? Huh. Thank you. All right. What's the closest spot to here? I guess this would be it. Maybe the hat always looked like this. I don't know. It, doesn't, it looks like it's getting bigger. Like the slashes. Am I wrong? I mean, I'm wrong all the time, but like, I don't know. I just, I think I'm just coming to terms with it, except in the fact that my brain is like broken. I would say this, if I ever say anything that I'm very confident about or definitive about, I would advise you to look it up. <laughs> <laughs> Just double check. Damn. Challenge me. Come on, you guys don't think. Killing you will only bring me 
glory. Yeah. These guys didn't even try to fight. Oh, didn't even see you. Oh, they were dead. I was going to... I thought maybe they would be... I was saving someone. Well. I hate it when it's women. And they all look like Yuna. Not to be racist. I just think the game is designed in a way where all the women look like each other and all the men look like each other. Not because they're Japanese because the game runs on a very limited resource engine. Okay, whatever. I'm going to stop now. <laughs> okay, what's the challenge for this one? I wish there was a way to, like, pull people over enemies with a sticky bomb. Shit, that one's going to be hard. Did I throw something? I did. I like left. Somehow I dropped the object and it's like sitting there. Okay, sticky bomb. Nope, smoke bomb. Oh, we got a big one, too. It's like distracted by the deer somehow. Enemies nearby. There's one way over there. How are you? There, is that it? Still? so much bless you Lord Sakai go and stay safe okay kunai supply okay where's the rest of this place okay there's a bunch more over in this area so there's one guy there and then it looks like the last one is probably in that spot. Yeah, it might be a little too far. I'm not confident I can hit that. That's what she said. What? <sighs> Who's nearby? Ah. Can't go. It's not safe yet. Damn. The hitboxes are very tight around these guys sometimes. Right. You're going to be all right. That's obvious what I'm doing. He's panicking. He's in a. He's facing death. I get it. I'm still alive. Thank you, my lord. You're safe now. Can't believe traitors attacked <laughs> Yeah, I really want to get through the clan of Dodgy stuff. That traitor nonsense pisses me off like crazy. No! 
Samuel! Ganz pusté! Yeah, don't you feel lucky? Please help! Hold still. Free at last. Go and stay safe. I was watching one of my. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching one of my uh, videos earlier just to kind of like I've been doing some comparisons lately. Oh, there's four hostages. Shit. Where I've been uh, I've been watching other YouTubers that do similar things, let's plays, playthroughs, walkthroughs, whatever, doing those sorts of things. And I've been trying to see like what other people are doing and what's working for them, and maybe I can learn a thing or two from them. And so I was like, okay, like I think I'm doing all right. There's a lot of things that I do that I could do better, but there's some things I feel like that I do better than even some other popular YouTubers. Not that I'm like. Not that I'm better than them, but I feel like there's some areas where maybe a little more articulate. Maybe I'm good at transitions from one topic to the next. I don't know. There's just, there's some things that I do that I'm proud of. And so as I'm going back and I'm watching some of their earlier videos, I thought it was really funny that I do a lot of weird mouth stuff. And I don't talk about it a lot because it's not important, but I'm going to bring it up just because I just started noticing it that I, I've been doing it more excessively than I realized. So I have Invisalign. And it's been, like, this is my fourth set of Invisalign. I have, like, a couple of really stubborn teeth, I guess, that just don't want to move. Like, you can't really tell from the distance now. But if you look at, like, other videos on my channel from maybe a year and a half, two years ago, you would see that I have, like, some significant disjointed teeth that are pointing in really weird directions. So there's definitely progress being made. But there's a couple of teeth that I'm just not happy with. And for some reason, the Invisalign is just not taking on those like one or two remaining teeth. And so I've been doing more Invisalign sets than like anyone in the history of ever. And this is my fourth round and it should have been done in one round. But occasionally you can get it where it's like, okay, maybe it didn't take, you didn't get enough trays or whatever. Like we need two. It's fairly, it's common enough, but you know, whatever. And, uh, but I'm on like round Number four. Which is like insane. I hear a dog. Two dogs, maybe. And so I, I guess I just like, I adjust my teeth a lot in my mouth because like the plastic or whatever plastic adjacent material this is, like it. It cuts the inside of my mouth a lot or like it's stuck to my tongue or whatever so i'm constantly making like adjustments and stuff and i just notice like it's very obvious that i do it in the videos i thought i was being subtle but i'm not at all <laughs> i'm just like look like i'm tweaking out somehow no offense to people that tweak or have experienced tragic tweaking related familial scenarios but uh anyway soon i do it and it it bothers me that I do it. I don't know if you notice. Maybe you don't care, but I care. So I pointed it out. Of my life, my lord. Find somewhere safe. Be careful. That should be the last one, right? Nobody could defeat the samurai. Did all the challenges too. What is this one? Liberate all occupied areas in Izuhara. Hell yeah. Sweet. I need to unlock. Oh, nothing. I don't really have to unlock anything. It sucks that they're, like, rebuilding. But, like, surrounded by all the dead bodies. What's up, dude? What's your deal? They're screams. You have to do something, my lord. What screams? What happened? First... I heard the Mongol drums, chanting, but when I ran to look, all I saw were our people, driven mad, screaming like they were trapped in some kind of nightmare. Maybe a new Mongol trick. Where was this? A small settlement in Akashima, near Drowned Man Shore. I'll check on them. Be careful, Drowned my lord. Man Shore. Okay, well, I'm gonna be honest, I don't really care too much to do that. Um. Journey the past. The pleasant told me to join my mad my almost chain. 
Holy crap, that's way far ahead. I need to do... Where's the freaking armor? the Sakai clan armor that I want to do really bad but so where would it be hmm I am going to actually google this because I just want to see Akashima prefecture I recognize the name, but I don't know where it's at. Oh, it's far up north. That's why. Not that. Where is this at? That might be kind of far. I might not be able to get it from here. Unless that's it there. No, that's not it. Huh. It's near the old Togo rice fields. Okay, so what does it say? Let's see. Eurogamer says, once you've ground out the seemingly never-ending farm quest, you can finally go claim the armor. It's marked on your map. A hill in Akashima Prefecture in the southern part of Totoyama. I don't know what any of that means. This is Akashima, so I'm imagining it must be in this area somewhere, right? Oh, it was a musician who told us about this. A musician sits with a crowd on the outskirts of Akashima Village and sit down and listen to his tale. You'll learn the tale of a farmer who stole the armor of a samurai to challenge bandits threatening his home. However, upon his death, several farming families were given the keys to unlock the location of Usaku's armor. Okay. Find the hill in Akashima. Once all six keys have been collected by the grateful farmers, return to the Akashima Prefecture and look for the large rocky peak to the east of Fort Aito. I feel like I just saw that. Fort I2 must be somewhere nearby. Huh. Fort I2. God, why couldn't you just show me a map? Why is it so hard to show me on the map where this is located? Hmm. Interesting. So it looks like Looks like I'm kind of far from it, maybe? Weird. How did we learn about that and then get this as a challenge, but now we can't get to that mission? Message in fire. Journey into the past. The walls of Yakuza. Goes from the past. It's so weird. I don't know. That seems strange. It did seem like it sort of came out of nowhere. But maybe I'm wrong, because I'm not seeing... Yeah, 
I don't know. These these maps are kind of crappy. No one is, I think everyone is using the same screenshots because <laughs> I just can't seem to find where they where it's at. Yeah, and then no one has like an actual screenshot. God, that's so annoying. I but they're also showing that there's an icon on the map that indicates like that there's a mission there, but I don't have that. This map is really confusing to look at because like they've got foggy parts and blah 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 blah. Like I don't understand what do you mean where to find his armor keys? It's so obvious. Why I don't understand. Why people are explaining where to find the armor keys that's like okay also keys and hands request will update with the location i don't have that though okay so maybe for some reason we didn't talk to him and unlocked. No sign of any other Be careful, monster. my lord. Demons are everywhere. And they fear nothing. That might be him. The invaders won't stop us. Oh, it's the monk guy. No, but it's not the one. Lord Sakai, Norio. Hmm. Where are the monks from your temple? Worry about that later. Yeah, I don't. It's so weird. We have all the keys, but I can't grab the freaking armor. What the hell is going on here? There's nothing here. God, what the heck? Hmm. Finding the musician. Maybe our island is cursed. Go to the west of Hawk. Takutaku Forest. Trader's Forest. Because we have the mission. But like, why did... I don't understand why those things unlocked if we didn't talk to this guy. Because I don't remember that. My memory's garbage, so it's definitely possible that we did talk to him. These are garbage instructions. No one knows how to write instructions at all. Nothing. Because it almost looks like this is... Got it. So this is somewhere else. So it's... Here. Unless there's about a, a road or something. Okay, we're going to have to travel south. see if we can figure it out because it looks like this path is like not clear so we're gonna have to follow this there's a musician somewhere along a road that we have to find is this a road not really it's just water cool area though swampy but cool looking akashima village there it is that's exactly what i wanted so weird it gave us the locations But it didn't give us the... That's so weird, dude. That's the weirdest thing. Okay, I'm not crazy then. So we didn't get the quest, but we got these keys, and it acted like we did get it. Lord Sakai, please join me. The tale of Gosaku awaits you. Okay, dude. Yeah, give me the dialogue option. It gave us the location. Yeah, okay. Tell me about him. Gladly, my lord. Two oh, okay. and a half centuries ago, Tsushima was terrorized by the Red Hand Bandits of Akashima. Around this time, a farmer named Gosaku heard the spirit of a dead samurai calling to him. He found the body, still clad in brilliant armor. Overwhelmed by the armor's beauty, Gosaku stole it. Before long, the Red Hand reached Gosaku's home, 
Knowing the farmers would lose everything if the bandits went unchallenged, Gosaku donned the samurai's armor. The bandits charged. Gosaku's sword arm trembled in fear. He resigned himself to death. But blow after blow glanced off the armor, and Gosaku did not falter. Hmm. The bewildered bandits staggered back, tripping over their feet. A mysterious sense of calm suffused Gosaku's body and mind. Impressed by Gosaku's bravery, the dead samurai spirit guided his blade. Before long, Gosaku cut down the final bandit. Damn. And the red hand were never seen again. Years later, when Gosaku died, the farming families locked the armor away for safekeeping. Each family holds a single key to the lock. Now Terra stalks our island again. The farmers of Tsushima claim to have seen Gosaku high on a hill looking for a mighty warrior to protect our farms once more. Hmm. is still locked away. And now the Mongols are hunting for it. Raiding farms across the island in search of the keys. Huh. Which farmsteads hold the keys? Yeah, it must have been a bug. We got the mission before this happened. Ijima. Kuta. Koshimizu. Ohama. And Yagata. If you find the keys, they say the armor is hidden on a hilltop in Akashima. The Mongols will never lay hands on it. Of that... I am certain, my lord. Weird. So it gave us all those locations. I, w I would not be surprised if it gave me a bug and made me go back and redo all these missions. <laughs> Farmstead. But why? Wants me to look there? I have all six. Did I not do six keys or was it five? Huh. Bum, bum, bum. All right, well, this video is already long enough as it is. I think it's a good point for us to stop. I don't know what else is next. We'll have to obtain the armor in the next episode. But yeah, that seemed really backwards. I don't know what happened. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this episode of Ghost of Tsushima. We'll figure out where the uh, armor location is in the next episode tomorrow. So uh, if you did enjoy this video, despite its length, you can show your love by hitting the like button. Do not forget to subscribe. Uh, also, if you want to leave any sort of feedback or comments for me, I do reply to all comments. So uh, drop it in the comment. Oh, that's sad about the horse. Uh, leave your thoughts in the comment section below and I'll get back to you when I can. Also, don't forget to take a look at the description box for some links that might be of interest to you. One of which is a link to the Mark 9 community discord server. If you want to be part of that group, you can chat with me directly. There's also a link to geekoutpost.com, an entertainment and media blog that I own, operate, run, manage, design, and write for. It's a great place to stay up to date on the latest entertainment and gaming news, reviews, and rumors if you're into that kind of thing. Otherwise, just know that I appreciate you and your time, and hope to see you when we continue with more of a playthrough of Ghost of Tsushima. Alright guys, that's it for me. Take care, be well. I'll see you later.